And I'm going to say it very plainly. I'm 53 years old. Some of you are a lot older than I am. And we're all going to meet God one day. And no man is going to stand before God. And I'm going to tell you, you don't ever want to. But you'll never stand before God and ever brag on one thing you have done. Because if you do that, then all of a sudden your works, good or bad, has to come into a balance. And brother, I tell you, I don't want no scales. I don't want scales when I stand before God. The good and the bad. I don't want that. I don't want no scale at all. All I want is a cross. I want to stand there and be a cross between me and him. I want blood between me and God. I'm afraid if there was a balance, I would hear something like this. Thou art weighed in the balances and come up wanting. That's the only thing I want between me and God is a bloody sacrifice. Where that when he looks down upon Luke Gibson or anybody else, he doesn't see us. All he sees is his blood. And he looks through that red blood and he sees a man standing though his sins be as scarlet. They're white as snow. I know. Sitting on this church tonight is a snow of blood that cleansed the church. Made us white in the presence of God. Abraham could brag if he did, but the scripture said he would not do it before God. That's why I said this morning, there ain't going to be no boasting in heaven. Nobody's going to be walking. Ain't nobody here getting to the sixth dimension bragging. Nobody's going to get to New Jerusalem and walk around and brag. Look how many times I went to church. Look how many times I sung at church. You think I'm going to tell the Lord, Lord, I got to be there because look how many times I preached. Baloney. No, there won't be no bragging. But what saith the scripture? Here it is. God help us. Abraham believed God. Do you know, Brother Bam, I read it today. He said on the same basis that God saved you, he can heal you. He said, if I can get you to get this, talking about works and grace, if I can get you to get this, the same God that saved you is the same God that healed you. And listen, if God didn't save you by works, he ain't healing you by works. Brother Bam said, if you can just accept it, it's done. Now, when you go acting it out, Though it hadn't happened yet, that's not bringing your salvation. Excuse me, you're healing. You're already healed. All you're doing is going and showing works that you believe what you say, that by his stripes you are healed. Abraham believed God. Say it with me. Abraham believed God. And really, he believed how God was revealing himself. You want to get definitive. He was believing how God, look, if God came to Abraham, let's say he came to Abraham and told him what he told Noah, he would have never been justified. He wasn't believing how God revealed himself to Noah or believing how he revealed himself to Moses. He was believing how God was revealing himself for his day. And when he was believing God's present tense revelation for that age, and he believed that contrary to what everybody would think, God justified him. And it was counted, listen, it was counted to him for righteousness. Think about that, how powerful that is for a second. Abraham believed and God said, you are righteous. Amen. You are justified. Your faith alone accounts you righteous in my sight. Now, I'll show you. He wasn't always a good boy after that. But God never did declare Abraham, righteous by works or performance. He declared him righteous by position. Amen. So you can't stay righteous. If you're declared righteous by position, your performance never comes into equation whether you're righteous or not righteous. Amen. I know that's hard. And I tell you, like I tell the brother for service, don't put the elect in the category of everybody else. She's different. You say, how different? I'll tell you how different. Try to do what everybody else is doing and see what happens. You'll face the hand of God. Why would he do that to me? Not because you're his. There's kids in here that could do what other kids could do, and I wouldn't say a thing about it. That's their business. 
but I would correct my own. Amen. And as many as God loves, Brother Bam, in his Brother Bam's words, elective love. Yes. Mm-hmm. He said God's love is elective. Amen. He sets his love on you. And when he does, then you're his. And then when you're his, now there comes an accountability to him and his love. Well, I'll just do what I, look, you can, you can, but that don't mean you're going to get away with it. God could take you out of here. And your bad deed may shorten your life, but won't change your position. That's why Brother said 99% of Branham Tabernacles are legalists. Because you think if you make a mistake, you lose it. I don't mean I want to make mistakes. I'm just telling you, our salvation but it's more secure than one mistake. I don't even go further. Our salvation is more secure than two mistakes. Shall I go on? It's more secure than three mistakes. It's more secure than me falling seven times a day. A righteous man gets back up. You know how many times God forgive him every time he gets up? Now, I do believe God gives you overcoming power, and that's not my point. I'm just telling you, when it comes down to it, you ain't saved by works. You never were saved by works, and you don't stay saved by works.